This is a pea-powered uh, project. It's all about um, turning urine directly into electricity. Electricity is to be used for lighting up a, a urinal uh, cubicle. In refugee type situations or displaced camps where there's no electricity source, this could be an excellent way of lighting up toilets because it's urine, urine making the electricity, so therefore we could light up the toilets. It's a technology known as a microbial fuel cell um, or MFC and it's, it's based on microbial metabolism, like any other living entity that eats and gets rid of its own waste, the same with microbes. But inside the microbial fuel cell, what we get as byproduct is direct electricity, and that's how it works. Often in camps, women going to the toilet at night are facing abuse and being molested. The idea being that if we could light up the area around the toilets, it'd make it safer that, for them to be able to go to the toilet. That's where the initial kind of thoughts came from. I think we realise now that um, we're in a camp where there's no electricity at all at night. We can't just light the toilets, we'd have to light other areas so that people aren't drawn to where the lights are. So we would like to engage with our university student population as much as possible, uh, encourage them to use the urinal as they would do any other normal urinal, but see there and then the, the real effect of their waste product being turned into real electricity. If the trial proves successful, then not only Oxfam would want to have this as a standard product um, in a refugee camp or in a camp where there's no electricity situation, but many, many other agencies would. This could be a game changer for how we do kind of refugee, not just refugee camps, but displaced camps. Mm -hmm.